What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This video we're going to be taking a look at a new power bank from Charge and that's S-H-A-R-G-E and they were kind enough to send the show this little power bank to review. This is their Shargeek 140 power bank. Now you're wondering, Shargeek? That was one of their old names, right? Now they're going by Charge um, versus Shargeek, but that's You'll find them under both, actually. So it's a little confusing, but that's why they have Shargeek 140 Power Bank. That was kind of their old brand name. They're kind of not really tossing it out. They're kind of using it as their model or brand name, uh, model name on their, their products. So this is 140 watt max, uh, or 20,000 milliamp hours. So a lot of power packed into a tinier form factor. We have reviewed some of their other battery banks and they're a little bulky, right? So what they've done here is they've compressed it down into a smaller footprint, which makes it a lot more portable and mobile and not reduced really the amount of power uh, that you can get out of this. And they're sticking with their, I, I love it, it's their see-through, uh, technology basically so you can actually see the circuitry and stuff in that and so the transparent look stays which is really really good so again uh, 140 watts which means you can take this and power your MacBook Pro uh, and keep it charged right so it's it, it exceeds what the MacBook would need uh, if you're just charging that right so as you start adding things on that 140 watt is going to get you know, completely taken down and spread out across the ports. So it's got a smart display, and again, the transparent design is something that Charge is known for. So let's go ahead and just open this bad boy up. And if you're wondering, yes, this is airline safe. You can take this on planes. So the TSA might look at you a little funny, but you should be able to get this on, on a plane. So as we open up the box, you can see there's not a whole lot in here. Here's a little accessory box, so we'll pop it open so you get the full experience of what you're going to get in the box. You're going to get a little carry bag, you're going to get some instructions, and you're going to get a high quality, nice braided type cable with some aluminum housing on the ends and a nice little Velcro uh, to keep this uh, kind of nice and tight here. So very, very nice cable, nice presentation overall. Let's go ahead and look at the actual device. Actually size is shown here, so it's actual size on the box too, which is kind of neat. So here's your nice little bag. And here's our power bank. Again, they've kept the uh, footprint much smaller than on previous devices. And what I like is so this bag actually you can use, it's kind of of a cloth, microfibery kind of thing, so you can wipe this down if you get fingerprints on it. So again, you can see the circuitry, very, very nice. This is your smart display. And then port-wise, we have a USB-A, and we have a USB-C. We have our power button, and that's really it, okay? So you get two ports. <clears throat> How this is broken out. So the USB-A, out, 140 watt max. USB-C, out, is 100 watts max. Okay? The input, so you're going to charge this via the USB-C port, is 65 watts. So it's going to charge fairly fast. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to take... Uh, let's see, let's just power it up so what we get out of the box, right? So let's hold the little power button here. Our smart display comes on. Look at that. That's really, really cool. I had it backwards. There you go. Your smart display. It's going to say, we got 25% out of the box. Not horrible. So let's go ahead. Let's just plug in my iPhone. We'll use the cable that they provided. And what we're going to do is my iPhone probably could use a little bit of a charge. So we're going to plug this in. And we'll plug in my iPhone. Charging. It's 82%. Okay. So now, if I bring this up, 
flipped it around again. We got two, looks like two hours and 41 minutes. Now it's down to an hour 53 as it starts to kind of regulate, right? And now we're pumping out some watts, right? Only eight watts out, nine watts out. It's starting to try to get, uh, you know, these things work together to make sure that they, uh, especially the iPhones and the iOS, you can turn on that battery optimization feature. So that actually, by software, tries to optimize the length of the life of your battery, right? So it's not going to go full bore, right? You're not going to plug in and be like, oh, hey, you know what? I can charge at 40 watts, and boom, you're going to get all 40 watts. This is optimized between both devices now of what it's going to say. And it's it's now said, hey, you know what? It's going to take about an hour and 38 minutes at 8.4 watts to charge your device, right? Then this also... If we can move, we can definitely toggle between different displays. Oh, yep. Just power on and off. Some of these you could actually change uh, and see like how much time is left on this actually power bank, right? So, um, which might actually be what is displaying here. It says charge time. Charging time. So I, this should be how long it takes to charge your actual device that you're, you're working with, not how much time is left on this. But uh, I'll validate that, and I'll come right back. Because I don't want to tell you wrong, and they may have changed some of their smart display technology, or I may be thinking of somebody else's smart uh, display technology. So let me validate that, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and we're not a whole lot more than where we were, except I think I was right. So what I've done now is, and I'm just gonna show you the instructions here, right? So this is what it says. Yes, we actually are gonna look at some instructions. Uh, the display area, so the recharging time is a static text display, right? So, and then it's got two, the charging, discharging time display, okay? So you can get two different items in this display text. So I'm thinking, okay, well, what, what, what can we do to kind of test this out, right? So it says, when charging, the text will light up, right? So we're charging, but is that charging the device or the brick, right? So then it says, show the remaining charging time or show the remaining discharging time, okay? But that's really all it says. So I figured, you know what? Let's just plug it in and see what it says. <laughs> and... So now it's getting 29 watts in, which, um, okay, that's through their cable. It seems a little bit lower, but it's getting 29. It's at 25% capacity, and it says an hour and 53 minutes. Okay, so can we alter that? And that does say that is the um, charging time. So let's plug in a device. One, can it charge itself and charge another device at the exact same time? Well, let's see. And the answer is yes. It's now charging my iPhone while itself is charging. And now if we take a look at what it's, it's doing, now it says, hey, you know what? It's, I'm, I'm, I'm sending out almost six watts. I'm getting in 29, so now it's pulling in a little more but that time now has gone up to two hours and 10 minutes. So we're kind of balancing that out. But it says if I double press the power button here, it goes into a low charge, like a low current charge mode. Okay, You're really only supposed to use this when it is not charging to try to preserve the battery, right? So that's one thing that you don't want to be in, obviously, when you are trying to charge devices. But if this is in a, a mode where you're not charging anything, they say double press that, put it into low current mode, and then just power it off. Okay? So you can see here we've already gone up to 26% because I'm bringing in more watts than I'm sending out. And it's still saying 2 hours and 10 minutes. So can you use this display, I would say, to ballpark stuff? Okay, if you really got to know when something's going to be done charging, that's about the best way you can ballpark it. I wouldn't take it for, for you know, the, uh, that's definitely the, 
the beat all answer to everything, but that's exactly what I would use this for. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. This is quite a nice little device. I'm glad they've lowered the footprint, the weight, and everything for their uh, chargers. I really like the transparent design. They are safe. Uh, they've got a lot of different fail safes in them to make sure they don't overcharge, as you can see. You know, all this technology that's balancing this out is making sure my iPhone is not fried, short-circuited, overheated, or any of that stuff with the safety technologies built in. Not only to the charge brick, but to the iPhone itself. So, go ahead and check the show notes. I'll have a link to Charge's uh, 140 power bank. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the show. And as always, guys... Thanks for watching, and have a good one.